A flood? Strange. It's coming from upstairs. Mickey! It's this musical score. It has him trapped. You won't be able to defeat that darkness with brute force. I'm Mickey, the sorcerer's apprentice. Who are you? Riku, if brute force won't work, tell me what will. Do you really mean you're gonna try and help me? Yes. Gosh, Riku. Something tells me you and I are gonna be good friends, and we'll help each other out a lot someday. Inside this music is a sound idea powerful enough to dispel the darkness. Can you find it? I'll try. Leave it to me.
You waiting for me? Yes. The boy chosen by the Keyblade. Riku. What? It was yours first, wasn't it? But you succumbed to the darkness you could not control. And your prize, the Keyblade, passed on to Sora instead. Your mistakes always end up being other people's problems. Maybe so. But I'm here to change all of that. Once again, you performed predictably, although on a grander scale than I imagined. If you're feeling so chatty, let's skip to where you reveal what this is all about. I don't know how you did it, but you really have found a way to trap darkness inside your heart. And a boy who's immune to darkness is of no use to us. Well, there's some good news. Your abyss awaits.
Riku? Say, can we try out that sound idea? That was amazing! Well, what happened? Sora. Sora? <laughs> Funny. Just hearing that name kind of makes me want to smile. Yeah. That's how he is. What do you know? Riku and Sora. The sound ideas you two set free joined together. And when they did, they made a great and powerful harmony. Sora can find the brightest part of anything, and pull off miracles like there's nothing to it. It's pretty hard not to smile around him. Wow! No wonder the music sounded like so much fun. But I bet he's got you to thank for that. Having such a good friend means he could really enjoy it. Huh? It's like each of you is holding on to a little part of the other. Your hearts are always in tune, so they're free to sing. Gosh, I hope I can be part of the team someday. You will. Trust me. <laughs> Master Yen Sid? Gosh, do you think he'll be able to do it? Hmm. It's clear you cannot teach a cat to bark. But Merlin and the three good fairies are aiding him in a place that's more temporally flexible. My hope is that he can at least learn to wield it. He certainly has fire. So I suppose it depends now on how strongly it burns. Oh. But what about Sora and Riku? Well, if we are running on the assumption Xehanort knew what we were planning, then he still would need to have been there. Back in the very place and time when the Destiny Islands were lost to darkness. Otherwise, Sora and Riku would have been beyond his reach. Mm. Gee, do you really think it's possible Xehanort could have planned things that far in advance? No, as a matter of fact, I do not. But what if he did the same thing as Sora and Riku did, and he jumped through time? For that to work... A version of himself would have had to exist at both source and destination. Not even Xehanort can transport his whole body across vast reaches of time. <gasps> oh, oh no. I remember Xehanort did give up his body. It was a version of him that was possessing Riku. 
No, it cannot be. Could he be that cunning? Possess that kind of foresight? <coughs> if it's all right with you, can I go help Sora and Riku out? How? You cannot enter the world of a dream. Where will you go? If Sanort really is behind all this, then they won't stay in the dream worlds forever. Eventually, they're gonna reappear somewhere that we can go reach them. And we can even probably guess the place. Follow the hearts, and you'll find the way. That's something Master Aqua told me once. Hmm. Can make you. We're going too. Ah, fellas, you're my best pals. But this time, I really do need to go it alone. The dangers are greater than anything we've ever faced before. If something were to happen to Sora and Riku and me, why, you'll be the only ones left to keep this world safe. Oh. Mickey, I was not able to locate Sora. But I sense Riku's presence in the realm between. Trust your heart, and I know you will find him. Thank you. I promise I'll bring them both back safe and sound. <laughs>